Our OB was on her way to delivery. They took blood work yesterday. I'm waiting for the results. Excuse me, Dr. Drake. I have Dr. Westbourne's blood work from uh, yesterday and today. Dr. Vila instructions to give this directly to you. Thank you. Thanks again for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. As long as you remember to keep up your energy. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't worry. I'll make sure you get that promotion. Quid pro quo. <laughs> I pity that child. Hey, Fee. Yes, Brad. I've got your patient's test results. Uh, uh. What do I get for him? A backhand to the face. Oh, I promise. Brad, any day now? Next time. Even if you're right and Brad is working for Brit, there's no way to prove it. I'll contrary my bill. I have a plan. Uh, I made all the necessary adjustments to your labs, so if anyone checks, the data's gonna support your claim that you have crippling morning sickness. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut. Excuse me, doctor. May I speak uh, with you? I'm in the middle of something. It's, it's important. Uh, we're done here. Right, doc? Fine. What's so important? You got a sec? <clears throat> For you? Sure. What you need, Fee? I thought I'd, um, take your temperature. Well, you want to see how hot I am, Fee? <laughs> you just seemed feverish. Hey, your fault. I just get warm all over whenever you walk by. <laughs> Listen, why don't we uh, take this party back to my place? I might need to be put to bed. <laughs> Let's not jump the gun. Okay, looks like we won't be disturbed. So now we can talk. What happened to your clothes? Got rid of them. Oh. Didn't need them, and uh, you ain't gonna need yours either. My, aren't you, um, forward? <laughs> Come on, haven't we wasted enough time already? Huh? Or been making eyes? Yeah? Circling each other for, for what, months? <laughs> I was beginning to think you didn't like me. Really? Because mm -hmm. for the longest time I didn't even think you were gay. Why not? Um, because you're so, um, oh, butch. And you're always hanging out with Brit. Doc, what's more? Uh, she doesn't have what I want. And why are you so close with her? I'll tell you what. I'll give it up if uh, you give it up. I'm sorry, I just couldn't sex the truth out of Brad. Felix, thank God. I didn't want you to make that sacrifice. Right. Oh, wow. This is so nice of you. What? Thanks, buddy. What? I'm sorry, apologies. Those are for Ellie. She's uh, about to be named the new lab manager. So, oh. yeah, I just met with uh, Doc Westport. And did the board announce their decision? Uh, tough break, Els. Uh, Westbourne and the board decided to go in a different direction. I'm the new lab manager. You're the new lab manager? Uh, but Dr. Westbourne assured me the position was mine. I mean, I am by far the most qualified and most meticulous person in this lab. Yeah, you can be a bit of a nag, else. Maybe that um, worked against you. Uh, you make mistakes, like huge mistakes. Just last week, you told Dr. Behar that his gallbladder patient was pregnant. Yeah, important info if she's going into surgery. Um, the patient was a man. Oh, well, then no harm done, right? But... Uh, I'm sorry, your, your, your cavalier attitude is, is, is ridiculous and not okay, appropriate whoa, for- Whoa, 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 whoa. If you guys got a problem, take it up with Doc W and the other board members, all right? <sighs> now, I, uh, I hate to pull rank, L's, but you have to fraternize with your boyfriend on your own time. I'm on a break. I guess these are mine after all, huh? Guess again. Else, we got a slew of blood work here that's not gonna process itself. Hmm. No time, Else. 
It's Ellie. E L L I E. Whoa, hey, hey, watch it. Sorry, I'm sorry. My, my mind was elsewhere. Yeah, I bet I know where. Look, El Ellie. I'm really sorry I got promoted instead of you. What? No, what? No, it wasn't. It wasn't about that. That's not what I was thinking about. It's about my relationship. Well, at least you have a relationship to worry about. I'm hiding something from Damien. And I hate myself for it. Are Danny's test results back yet? I see that Dr. Drake requested priority rush. Unfortunately, the new lab manager failed to take note hey. of... Hey, you get the results when they're ready. And that's how it's done. Samantha Morgan is my boyfriend's business partner, and she is worried sick about her little boy. How can you be so insensitive? All right, I am going to lunch. Wait, lunch? You just got here. We have a stack of rush orders. Oh, well, then I guess you better get busy, huh? Uh, text me if you want me to get you something. A new and improved you? It's funny. If you're here to whine about my promotion, I already told you to take it up with Westbourne. I tried. She's on medical leave. So, how much of your soul did you sell to win that promotion over Ellie? See, I actually uh, deserved that promotion. I got it on my own merits. That's your story. It happens to be the truth. Despite the fact that Ellie has a superior education and a flawless work record. Maybe all those months she was away from the job after getting hit by that, uh... Beep, beep. Kind of against her. You know, yeah, I, I suppose you make a valid point. Uh, forgive me for doubting your merits. Oh, you also appear to be somewhat of a, a technocrat. Oh, cool computer, can I look at it? What is wrong with you? Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. You should probably go dry that off before it makes an embarrassing stain. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm alone. Where the hell are you? At work. Where else? You're supposed to be here. What are you talking about? Brad, I need your help. Did I not make that clear when we spoke this morning? Wait, we didn't speak this morning. I called you at 10.30. 10.30, 10 Yeah, I was at Kelly's then. But I had my phone with me, right? I didn't get any calls. Yeah, did you have some kind of neurological event? We spoke on the phone. I called and you answered. I told you about Sabrina and, and, and her rainbow coalition after me. All right. Then what I say? I don't remember. You, some nonsense about having a cold. I said I had a cold? Yes, that's why you were all stuffed up. I'm telling you, we did not speak. All right, maybe the, the, the pregnancy hormones are... Okay, uh, Brad, I need you to focus. I need you here, right now, with your phlebotomy kit. My phlebotomy kit? Yes, I need to get new labs so I can prove to these nitwits that I have hyperemesis gravidarum. Do, do I make myself clear? Crystal. I miss this. Dad, what is wrong with you? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. You should probably go dry that off before it makes an embarrassing stain. Oh, Brad's here. How convenient. Hey, Fee. Nice place. Take it all in, because it's the last time you're going to see it. Can we help you? Oh, I'm uh, here for break. I, I, I called him over here since I needed someone to take my blood for labs. I like the furniture. You should come over to my place sometime and uh, fung my shui. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Brad, but Felix and I are more than capable of drawing Dr. Westbourne's blood. I mean, we're registered nurses, so who better than us? Maybe a phlebotomist? I mean, which is what Brad is. Besides, shouldn't you be in your room getting ready for your big date? And take your fairy godmother with you. No, all you have to do is come up with some results that corroborate my claim. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. You won't ever want to thank you're suffering from hyperemesis gravidar. So, uh, does Felix ever talk about me? Listen to me, Brad, and listen good. Do not screw me on this, because if you do, I promise that you will regret it. Yeah, I already do. Uh. After we got off the phone, 
found out who uh, you actually talked to this morning. My underling's boyfriend, uh, that dopey gnome Spumanti. Spinelli? Or... He's a P.I. Oh. Well, that's not good. Okay. Okay, there's no need to panic. There, there's nothing to connect us, I mean, other than that phone call, but I mean, that's, that's completely easy to explain away. I mean, it's not like he knows anything and he'd need evidence and there is none. Yeah, except your file. The one with your real test results. What are you waiting for? Get rid of it! Okay. My gosh, I'm surrounded by idiots. Hi, Dr. Drake. Bye, Dr. Drake. He was here to take a blood sample. All right, Brad. Time to give up your secret. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to find out why you and Dr. Westbourne are suddenly so close. Listen, Els. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of my business. And that goes for the gremlin you're dating, too. Pack your things and go. I mean, is that sort of uh, like a code or something? What does it mean? I... I'll tell you what it means. In the words of the Donald, you're fired. Now, how did I know this had happened? Hmm? How did I know you... Scoobies would stick your homely, meddling mugs where they didn't belong. Uh, technically, I belong, but I, I assume you're being... I'll tell you how. Because for breeders, you two are woefully, woefully predictable. You cannot summarily fire Ellie. Oh, can't I? Because <laughs> uh, last I checked, I'm the boss, not you. Um, and you obviously forgot to brush your teeth again. Keep going with those little personal attacks. Because I'm still the one with all the power here. And I say who stays and who goes, and I say you go! No one is going anywhere. Fine. Let's do this the hard way. I'm getting security. Over my inanimate corpse! Get out of my way. No! You have no grounds to fire Ellie. I, I don't need grounds. I doubt Monica Quartermain will agree. What does she have to do with this? Oh, didn't you know? All firing requires the assent of the chief of staff. Yes, yeah, says who? Uh, says the GH Human Resources Guidebook. Have you submitted a formal request to sever Ellie's employment? Uh, much less received written authorization. You know, perhaps if you do have the pertinent paperwork, it's squirreled away with that hidden file on Dr. Westbourne, which Ellie will certainly bring up when she contests her firing at the formal inquiry. So, formal inquiry. can you explain that hidden file on Dr. Westbourne? Because if you can't, whatever secrets you're hiding will certainly come to light, and it'll be you and Britt on the chopping block, and not Ellie. Um, Miss Trout, I need some tests run. Uh, of course, Felix. I will send you the results as soon as I have them. Oh, not to me. I'm actually taking off. Uh, not a moment too soon, as I am all kinds of grimy. I'm headed to the locker room to ditch these strangulating clothes and take a nice, long, hot, Sensuous shower. The things I do for those two lovebirds. Uh, time for my break. Is it safe? Come in. Felix and Sabrina are at work. <laughs> Man, it is a beautiful day, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I can't leave the house, remember? <sighs> What's got you in such a chippy mood? Oh, uh, I just happened to see a pretty good show. Actually, more than good. It was, uh, memorable. How nice for you. Anyway, I thought that you might want this. Now, that is all the medical information I was keeping for you. It's uh, safer with you than with me. Hey, mind if I use your bathroom? Go. Oh, the horror, the, the horror. I mean, I can still feel Brad's eyes on me. 